Hi, welcome everybody. It's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. Um, I want to share with you today the business basics that I see so many entrepreneurs um, either missing out on or not really uh, getting set up in time in order for them to sell a good amount of money and get consistent revenue coming in on a regular basis. There's there's about eight different things that you really want to look at when you're starting a new business, or if you're in the first few years of your business, and maybe you haven't done these things yet, this is a good little checklist. And so I wanted to kind of go through the checklist today. And so you can check off and see, okay, where am I at with this? And where am I at with that? And do I have this set up? And do I have this ready, right? In order to really see more revenue. So the problem is a lot of clients and entrepreneurs come to me and say, okay, I need to make more money, Katrina. I've been at this for three months, six months, a year and a half, and I still can barely make ends meet with the revenue that I'm bringing in. So the first thing is making sure you have the right priced programs, products, and offerings. Okay. I call them offerings because it could be anything. It could be one-on-one. -on -one, it could be an online course. It could be a membership. It could be a workshop you're doing and selling. It could be books or uh, anything that you want to sell online. It could be products that you have, like actual, you know, physical products. It could be all kinds of things that you sell. Whatever you're offering, first of all, you have to be super clear on what it is you're selling mean and what the transformation is for the people who buy it and go through it or consume it, right? So you're selling the transformation and the outcome. You're not selling the deliverable. You're not selling a six week course. You're selling what happens when someone does the six week course and does the work and then comes out on the other end. That's what you're selling. So you have to know not only the transformation, but you do need to know some of the service delivery, like, is it six weeks? Is it online? Is it a group thing? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? Is it, you know, you need to know a lot of that, but then you have to have it priced right. Too many entrepreneurs are not priced right. They're priced too low because they think, oh, or, or you might have a mindset that nobody can afford you or because you can't afford certain things in your business you think everybody else can't afford you either. Stop thinking that way, please, okay? You need to price yourself right because if you're too low, some people won't think you're a good enough expert and they're not gonna buy from you anyways. So I say, you know, charge as much as you can say without stuttering for your prices, for your price points, especially if you're giving one-on-one -on -one access or more access to you in a group, it should be higher priced than something that's a DIY, a do-it-yourself or an online thing, right? Or a, like a larger group program or a larger event, that could be less. So you want to have a good price mix of things because people will, some people will be ready to dive into the deep end with you with thousands and thousands of dollars of investment. Some people are only going to want to try you out. Some people are going to be in the middle. So you want to have a good mix. You want to be clear on the offerings, what you are selling, because then if you're in front of a prospect then you know exactly what to lead them into or ask them to uh, invite them to, right? To take a next step with you. So that's the first thing. And too many people don't think about this stuff first. They think, oh, I'm selling coaching and I'm just going to help people, la, la, la. You know, no, no, no. You have to get clear on the system, the formula, the framework, whatever it is, the transformation, um, or it's not compelling enough to buy, okay? The second thing is... Um, you really, I mean, you don't need a website to make sales these days. However, long-term success, yes, you must have a really good professional looking website that showcases you as that expert, as someone who knows their stuff, as with fresh, like fresh graphics. And please don't do this yourself. <laughs> um, this is the cost of doing business. In order to be in business, you need to be good at marketing and sales, and you need to invest in certain things like your website, like a cell phone probably, or a phone line, right? Like Zoom and or Canva. There's certain things that you're going to be able to need to pay for, right? You might need business liability insurance. You might need an attorney. I don't know. It depends on what you're doing, but don't undercut what you actually need 
to really have a professional business, okay? You don't necessarily need to spend $10,000 on branding in the beginning. That's my opinion. Uh, branding people will tell you otherwise. But I say in the first couple of years is when you're deciphering and figuring out what it is you're going to do, and you're probably going to change your mind a few times. So I wouldn't spend a lot of money on branding. Um, you got to know what the right message is and the wording right now today, but know that it's going to evolve. And so your website is an ever evolving thing and it, it needs to be, it's never done. Okay. Your website is never done. It's a constant thing you need to be working on and honing. I change my website almost every day, almost every day. I'm adding pages or changing things or changing uh, the flow of the customer journey through in and through pages on my website. I have almost 200 pages on my website too. I use my website as the hub of my business. Everything comes in and through my website because I can reach a lot more people and they can start accessing things, freebies and calls with me or watching videos and they can get to know me without me having to touch every single person that comes in my world, right? So it's more automated, but you can make it very relationship oriented and friendly too, right? So you have to really focus on your website. Get some help with that because it can't just be an image like, oh, this is who I am. It can't be all about you. It has to be about what's in it for the person that you're trying to help, okay? So that's important. And by the way, all these things that I'm talking to you about are the things that my clients work with me on personally, and we work together and do them together. And we really up-level everything that all of this stuff together. I do it with you, okay? So you don't have to hang out to, to dry all by yourself. Um, then... You do need a professional, a, a, a cup, one or two at least, social media profiles. Um, you have to have full contact information on there. You can't just be like hidden on social media. You pick one or two that are really more attractive to you or where your target audience is lying and be really active in that one or two. If you wanna do more, that's great, but don't spread yourself too thin and then not be there very often. It's better to be really good at one or two, instead of trying to be half-ass at four or five, okay? That's another thing. And that, how you look on social needs to look similar to your website and your overall uh, look and feel of your brand. Now, like I said, you don't need a whole branding, but you do need a look and feel or a messaging that's very consistent, right? I always talk about how to make more money doing what you love. So making more money doing what you love is everywhere. Right. And that's what I'm focused on with entrepreneurs. Um, and then being visible in the marketplace. You got to show up to calls. You got to show up to networking events, perhaps. You got to show up inside Facebook groups or LinkedIn groups or show up and do things and be seen. You have to be visible. And you can't get just get in front of a couple dozen people a month. You're going to have to get in front of hundreds, if not thousands, you guys. So you want to embrace speaking or doing some workshops or some webinars or get on some podcasts. You got to get more visible. That's clear. And then because you got to get in front of more people more often and in more ways in order to make the money you want to make. You got to talk to more people. Um, and then you got to really be good at the enrollment process, finding those ideal clients, identifying them, being able to hit their hot buttons and and make them want to raise their hand to learn more about how to work with you and then be able to turn uh, them into a paying client. You have to ha be able to have that conversation and really be good at enrolling someone in buying your thing. Because the majority of things that you're going to sell, you're gonna be doing that in a phone conversation. It's not necessarily gonna be click and buy on your website, although that's how we would like to have it. But for thousands and thousands of dollars, most people are gonna, not gonna trust you enough they're going to need to come to a call. And then um, some of the other things that are a little bit more advanced is starting your own podcast, writing a book, getting out there speaking a lot more, um, taking your website to the next level with search engine optimization and doing more videos. A lot of those are so incredibly uh, great to have, but they are more advanced. So please focus on the day-to-day -day revenue generating activities, marketing, sales, follow-up, all of that first. And then you'll see more consistent revenue coming in and you'll be able to then afford to do more things, hire a team, et cetera. 
Okay. I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to working with you. If you'd like to have a conversation, go to askcat.biz. It's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. Sign up, fill out the form and get on my calendar. Why not? What have you got to lose? Nothing. And you've got a lot to gain. I'll talk to you soon.